Collision Avoidance Behavior Model for Crowd Simulation Based on Psychological Findings, a work by Jin Hyung Park, Francisco Rojas, Hyun Sung Yang. This paper proposes a collision avoidance behavior model for crowd simulation based on psychological findings. The findings include what the real vision field of pedestrians is like, how pedestrians detect and avoid collisions with other pedestrians, how actual locomotion is controlled by gate motions, and how pedestrians keep away from the personal space of other pedestrians. An intelligent agent or agent is an autonomous entity that can interact with this environment adaptively. An agent has three required properties, autonomy, interactivity, and adaptiveness. In our research, we have used the agent-based system paradigm that consists of agent, environment, and coupling between them. IA consists of sensors for input, a process for parsing input, another process for action selection, an effector to realize the selected action and a state to describe its current status. In this paper, the GMA and the distance of other agents correspond to the input. The IPS of the observing agent corresponds to the sensors. For the given GMAs and distances, the observing agent predicts collision with others. A proper collision avoidance behavior is selected if necessary. The selected action is executed by gate motions that would determine the velocity of the observing agent, moving direction, and moving speed. The actual locomotion of the agent affects other agents, finally. Regarding to sensing inputs, we use the information process space found by Kitazawa. IPS is a conceptual area that determines the spatial boundary within which all other pedestrians are treated as potential clashers to the observing pedestrian. Most of the crowd simulation models classified as ABM have assumed the semicircle shape for IPS. SFM and CAM also use IPS, although they do not explicitly have a cognition process for collision avoidance steering. By using an eye tracker and an environment mockup, Kitazawa and Fujiyama found three interesting things regarding IPS. Pedestrians are more interested in objects right in front to which the lateral distance is small. The, best, the pedestrian seldom fixates objects within 90 degrees of sectional angle, and the duration of the first fixation on a leading pedestrian is less than that of coming pedestrians. In considering these findings, we applied a fan-shaped and speed-variant IPS for collision prediction in the proposed model. The proposed IPS has the longest range to the direction of the right front of an observing agent. The sectional angle of the IPS is 90 degrees when a pedestrian moves at its maximum walking speed. The angle, however, increases as the pedestrian loses its speed. When it stops, the sectional angle of the IPS becomes 180 degrees. To predict collision with other agents, the proposed model checks variations to both the GMA of other agents and the distance to the other agents. Cutting it all found a collision prediction model based on the angle between the movement direction of a person and the gaze angle to the other person, namely the gaze movement angle. They tried to identify how people can predict collisions with stationary and moving obstacles without knowing the exact trajectory of other obstacles. The research found that people predict collision by simply considering the change of GMA and the appearance size of the other object to the observer. The GMA corresponds to the difference between the angle of movement direction and the angle of the gaze direction. The gaze angle corresponds to the direction of the other pedestrian from the observer. We defined the pedestrian with the smaller GMA as the observing pedestrian and the other one with the bigger GMA as the observed pedestrian. In this paper, we propose a collision prediction method based on the GMA for crowd simulation. The method predicts that there is to be a collision if two conditions between the observing pedestrian and the observed pedestrian are met simultaneously. One is that both pedestrians maintain constant GMAs between them, and two, the distance to the observed pedestrian from the observing pedestrian consecutively decreases. A proper action to avoid collision would be selected to change the GMA of other agents or the distance to other agents leading to collision avoidance. For a given agent 
beta that is identified to collide with an observing agent alpha, the proposed algorithm checks collision type first. If a head-on collision with beta is predicted to happen, alpha should select a direction to avoid the collision, right or left of beta. If the observing agent alpha is to collide with the observed agent to its right side, alpha will move to the left and vice versa. If a rear end collision is predicted, alpha would decide if to overtake beta or not in the real world. We assumed, however, that alpha would overtake beta if possible because a rear end collision would occur only when the observing agent is faster than the observed agent. If a side collision is predicted, the observing agent reduces its speed to avoid collisions. In this paper, all these collision prediction and collision avoidance is based on the GMA. GMA-based collision prediction has several advantages over the time-to-contact approach. It is more robust to variations in the speed and the path of the other pedestrian. It does not assume either constant speed or a linear path. The accuracy of the prediction is not affected by these variations. To avoid collisions with other agents, the steering action just determines the speed and movement direction of the agent. Because the actual locomotion of an agent is carried out mainly by its gait motion, realization of the locomotion should reflect features of the gait motion. In this work, to make the locomotion of agents, we control two parameters of the gait motions, stride pitch and direction, by simply controlling the leg angles. Stride length is controlled by the angle between the forward leg and the backward leg, which is twice the forward step length, or two times lambda forward. The stride direction is controlled by pi forward and a lateral stride angle of the leg pi lateral. By controlling pi lateral, an agent can change its movement direction without changing the direction of its whole body. In changing the movement direction, the difference between the heading and the target direction is first calculated. If the difference is bigger than the threshold, the heading is changed to have the same value with the target direction, which leads to a directional change of the whole body of an agent. In the other case, a sidestep is added while going forward until the heading and the target direction become the same. In the proposed model, at the final stage of deciding the velocity of the agent, the personal space of an agent is considered. The personal space for a different gaze angle is modeled by checking that the distance from the observing agent alpha to the observed pedestrian beta in the next step of alpha is sufficient for the personal space of both alpha and beta. If the distance to the observed agent is closer than the range of personal space to the direction of the observed agent, the observing agent reduces its speed or changes its moving direction to make the distance far enough for the personal space of the observed agent. The proposed model was tested for various number of agents on a crossroad to simulate three kinds of collisions, side collision, head-on collision, and rear-end collision. There is no wall at the boundary of the roads, so an observing agent on the road can see another agent on the intersecting road. This animation shows the typical steering behaviors of pedestrians using social force model. The first test scenario is cross-flow of agents. In this scenario, most agents can avoid collisions just by changing their speed. The green line means that side collision is predicted and that the speed adjustment is being executed. We can find that the trajectory of the agent is quite straight. Different from the social force model, agents do not force themselves to pass the cross-section prior to other agents. They usually yield their way to others, which is normal in the real world. The second scenario is counterflow of agents. In this scenario, agents avoid collisions by changing their directions. The blue line means head-on collision is predicted and directional change is being executed. We can find that the trajectory of the agent is quite more winding than that of cross-flow scenario.
third scenario is all directional flow of agents. In this scenario, the center of the cross-section is more complicated than that of previous scenarios. We can find that the trajectory of the other agents in the center of the cross-section are more winding than that of the other two scenarios. For more information, please contact us at these emails. Thank you for your attention.